In this video, I will show you a few ways how you can take symptoms into one of your clipboards. So you have learned already how you can find symptoms in the repertory if you know where they are. So let's go to stomach vomiting bile. So I start to type on the keyboard STO, enter vomiting, and I see there are two options left, so I go on the keyboard one times arrow down and I press enter and I say bile enter fever and because it's the last level there are no more sub rubrics when I press one time enter I will immediately go to the repertory now the most easy way is just by drag and drop you point to the text of the symptom and you hold down your mouse key, you drag it here to the clipboard number one, and let go. So for simple cases, most of the time you put everything in one clipboard. But you can use also more clipboards. This I will talk about later. So taking a symptom with drag and drop means you take it and it has an intensity one. So let me click here on clipboard number one. And you see this is the sy symptom text. It has 26 remedies, and this is the intensity. And it counts for a one. It has an intensity one, or also, uh, also mean no underlining. I can close here the analysis tab with the X, or I can just click on the top of the synthesis. Now this taking with drag and drop, and it takes with an intensity one, you can also do here via the local take button. Now there are two parts. It's difficult to see on the Mac, but on Windows it's more clear. It has a main button and a sub button. Now let's first move the hand indicator to another rubric because I cannot take two times the same rubric into a clipboard. So the hand indicator is now pointing to during headache. Now I click here on the main button and you see that the symptom has been taken immediately and that there are now two symptoms in clipboard number one. I click on it and you see a second symptom and it also has an intensity one. Okay, I click again on the synthesis tab. Let's move the hand indicator to another symptom, so this one. Now you can also take with an extra intensity. So an extra one time underlined, two times underlined, or three times underlined. You can do that in several ways. You can also do that via the local take button. So I click here on the arrow down, and this menu opens. And you see take with an intensity one. In fact, that's the same as drag and drop. Because when you drag and drop, it has an intensity one. Now, if you want to take the symptom with a little bit more intensity, you say take with intensity 2. And at the right side, you see also that you can do this with the keyboard. I will show you this later. Here's intensity 3 and intensity 4. And here's the plus, which actually acts more or less the same as these first uh, four, but I will show you. And here you can say take and specify options with the F6. So let's take with an intensity 2 for example. I click once on it. Now let's have a look in the clipboard. I click once on the clipboard. And you see the symptom. If you go to the right it's 92 remedies and it has an intensity 2. So I click again on the synthesis tab. Let's go to another rubric for example head, so I just start to type on the keyboard, head, enter, pain, enter, gastric. So I again could use drag and drop, or I could use the main button, or I could use the sub button, or let me show you now on the keyboard, I can just start to type the plus with a one, two, three, or four. So on the keyboard, I press the plus key and I can type with intensity 1 or intensity 2, 3 or 4. Let's take 4. 
and I press on the keyboard the enter because the take button here is the active button so it means when I press on the keyboard the enter I use the active button so I've taken now another symptom in clipboard number one let me click on it and you see to the right that this one is underlined f f with an intensity 4 so it means it's three times underlined so you also can use the right mouse button so for example here hammering pain I click with the right mouse button and there you find the same menu take the current symptom with an intensity 1, intensity 2, intensity 3, intensity 4 okay let's take this one with intensity 3 now let's show you the last method of taking I click here on during so head pain heat during heat now as you've seen before I can press on the keyboard the plus it opens the quick take command and you can type plus one plus two plus three but there's also a local options menu which you can open now let me close this again if I use on the keyboard the F6 key it will immediately open this take window with all the options open I will show you I press on the keyboard the F6 key and it will immediately show you the take menu with all the options shown now about all these extra options I will discuss later but let me quickly say something about it here's the intensity here's the qualification of rubric for example you could select if it's an eliminative rubric or an excluding rubric that's a new feature excluding actually means if you take that rubric the remedies in that rubrics will be excluded will be thrown away from that whole analysis causative is for the VES only for the Vitukas expert system only you can even select the degrees from a rubric let's say you only want to take the remedies with the degree 3 and 4 to which clipboard it should be taken you can group uh, symptoms together and here are some extra options which I discuss will discuss later so let's say here just make it simple I want to take it with an intensity 2 and I want to take it into clipboard number 2 only and I click here on the take now you see I have here five symptoms and here one symptom so now I want to analyze I can do the following if I click in the top menu bar on the analysis icon by default it will use both clipboards so you see clipboard number one has five symptoms and no clipboard number two has one symptom now let's end by showing you briefly how you can use two clipboards if I click on clipboard number one it only uses this clipboard if I click on clipboard number two it only uses this clipboard now if on the keyboard on Windows I hold down the control key or on Mac I hold down the command key and I click on the other clipboard both clipboards are on again now it's not so easy to see but you can see if a clipboard is used of course here you can see the title number clipboard number one and clipboard number two but you can also see here from this number if it's bold or not bold so let's click only on clipboard number one then you see the five is a bit bold and the one not so this is now only clipboard one if I click here it's only clipboard number two now on Windows if I hold down the control key and click on the other clipboard or on Mac hold down the command key and click on the other clipboard I have both clipboards again so I think this is enough for this video in another video I will show you more options to work with the clipboards and how to uh, move symptoms between clipboards I will just briefly show you I can click for example on one symptom and then I drag it to the second clipboard and let go 
and you see it's moved away from clipboard one and it's moved to clipboard two. Okay, that's it.